In this learning object, we will learn to describe arrivals and departures using the prefixes pri and u. This learning object is divided into two chapters. The first one is a, a presentation of these prefixes. Following that, we're going to talk about the aspect and the usage of prefixed verbs of motion. Here we have an arrivals board at a train station. Vaskolka poist priedet iz Yerevana v Moscow. Based on this board, you could say poist priedet v Moscow v 11:15. Here are a few clips from the film Ironia Sudby. And as you watch them, pay attention to the use of the prefixed verbs of motion. And the other character is and a little later as you can see all of these verbs are verbs of motion but they're all also being used with a specific prefix and here's another example this is the office hours of an employee. We could ask, for example, about her hours on Friday. The verbs that we have encountered in these examples are verbs of motion. Приедет from the verb приехать. Уходит from the verb uhadiz. Notice though that these are based on, but they're also different from other verbs of motion that you already know, such as iti hadit, yezit yehat. What distinguishes them is the prefix, which gives these verbs a specific nuance of meaning. And what meaning is that? Here we have a list showing all the various uh, prefixes that you can attach to verbs of motion. In this learning object we will focus on two of them. U, which means, as you can see, to move away, and PRI, which means to arrive. Unprefixed verbs of motion can be classified as uni and multidirectional, and perfective and imperfective. So, for example, it and hadit are both imperfective. It is unidirectional. And hadit is multidirectional. But notice that they're both imperfective. Paiti is the perfective form. For prefixed verbs of motion, though, this distinction between uni and multidirectional verbs is dropped. Instead, prefixed verbs of motion end up being classified only as perfective and imperfective verbs. How can you tell which verb is perfective and which verb is imperfective? Prefix plus a multidirectional verbal motion, for example, hadit, produces a new imperfective verbal motion. So, prihadit. Now, if you attach the prefix to the unidirectional verbal motion, it, for example, you produce a new perfective verbal motion, priti. Я ухожу на работу каждый день в восемь часов. This is an imperfective verb. Я ухожу каждый день в восемь часов. Но сегодня я опоздал на работу. Я ушел из дома только в половине девятого. It's a perfective verb. Я ушел из дома сегодня. И завтра ты будешь дома. Я буду дома до десяти часов а потом уйду в университет. Again, this is a perfective verb. Куда уехала Маша? Она уехала в магазин. She's still there. Она еще в магазине. Куда уезжала Маша? Она уезжала в магазин. То есть она уже вернулась. Федор при пришел к тебе? И тебя ждет в гостиной. Федор приходил к тебе в 10 часов. Но потом он ушел домой. Did you notice the difference? 
Only in the past tense, the imperfective, prefixed verbs of motion are similar to the verb to be. Куда уходила Маша? Где была Маша? Она уходила в библиотеку. Она была в библиотеке. Она уже вернулась. Ее нет в библиотеке сейчас. Imagine that you're in a study abroad program in Petersburg. You meet a friend in Moscow and invite her to come over to visit you. Ask when your friend will arrive. Now, tell your friend when you leave home by car to pick her up. You should leave one hour before her flight arrives. Remember, she's flying in from Moscow. Possible answers to the two questions are Во сколько or когда ты приедешь в Санкт-Петербург? And for the second question Я уеду из дома в аэропорт в 6.15